My name is Gabby McAdoo and I'm the Stanford Trauma Nurse Coordinator. The reason I got into nursing was because of my grandmother. She had diabetes and I remember being five or six years old and I just had that intuition of taking care of people and nurturing them and being there and at least making a difference whether it was speaking to them or treating them or saying I hope you have a good day. Nursing to me is my passion just knowing that I could be a part of saving someone's life. I'm Dr. Bob Norris and I'm the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Stanford. My interest in, in medicine started when I was a kid, I think as it does for many people that go into the field of medicine. During my medical school training, I had the opportunity to get involved in emergency medical services and learn to truly love emergency medicine. SEMPER stands for the Stanford Emergency Medicine Program for Emergency Response. And it's an idea that came out of our experience in Haiti following the earthquake in January of 2010. Our team's experience when we responded to Haiti was profound. Although we felt like we were well prepared for what we would, would encounter, the sheer magnitude of the devastation really led uh, to the whole idea behind Simper. I was working in the ER as a charge nurse and I got an email from ED management stating that they were needing some volunteers to go to Haiti. When I was telling my friends, I got a lot of negative feedback. You're crazy, why would you go put yourself in danger? And then I started sensing, well, maybe I shouldn't go. But then just something in the middle of the night just told me, you know, I had the gut instinct to go, and at four in the morning I woke up and I'm like, I'm going. Everybody that's a part of Semper, everybody that does disaster type response has a passion and a deep-seated desire to relieve human suffering. The suffering that we saw in Haiti was profound. It was horrendous. I was pretty much in shock for about an hour. But once I got the initial shock, I got a little bit more ease of what we needed to do to get to work and start treating people. When we got to the University Hospital in Port-au-Prince, uh, there were approximately 800 patients there. The majority had not had any medical care. Over the ensuing days and weeks, we lost patients from infected extremities, infected wounds, uh, sepsis, bloodborne infections, that if we could have provided care to their wounds days earlier, we think we could have saved more lives. Um, and that's what we hope to accomplish with Simper. The difference in working in a controlled environment in the emergency department versus going out into an uncontrolled environment post a disaster is worlds of difference. Being in an uncontrolled environment, it's you. Treating patients that you knew, if you were in a controlled environment, they would be saved. Being in an uncontrolled environment, they died. Semper is sort of our controlled environment in a sense that we will take that environment into our uncontrolled disaster and set the stage for what we can do to really raise the bar to the next standard. Semper has primarily three major missions. Our first and foremost mission is to have small groups of medical providers that can get into a disaster zone very quickly and provide care. Our second major mission is to educate. And then our third mission is to do research. There's really a significant shortage of research to base decisions that you make in a disaster situation. It's a global humanitarian effort that SEMBER is doing to make sure that we have the right people with the right supplies, the right medications, with the right skill set depending on the disaster. And whether you're the person that's going to be deployed out or not, in the background and having all of this, all the different things already in place will help and facilitate the deployment to the time that we get there and we have to start treating patients. And that's what we hope that Semper does.